Booster ignition and transfer to the lead reflectors of permanent. AP is in primary position for complete control. On my mark, go to 509er, stop 47221. Roger, throttle up, going 2509er, stop 47221. This is it, no more offshore drilling. From now on, clean renewable energy. Nathan should be here. Watch the temperature, Simon. Throttle up, go for main engine start. Roger that, AP. Full main engine start. Now, I invited him to witness this. And he didn't want to come? He said, uh, so many worlds, so much to do, so little done, so many things to be. He's quoting Tennyson. Yeah, but what could be more important than this? <laughs> Balloons. Go for the infusion. Keep an eye on the monitors for a dip in the pressure. We're all clear for infusion. Take the level four, five, four, three, two, one. Go for main reactor start. By channeling the power of nature, our main reactor is about to change how the world consumes energy. greater than we imagined. We didn't expect this. No, you nailed it. You'll be on the next cover of Forbes. No, something doesn't feel right. That's how it feels when you're about to change history. Test results, numbers on my desk, 20 minutes, all right? Then uh, assemble the board because we are taking this thing from prototype to actual energy source. Simon, tell me the numbers look good. I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm sure they're fine. Listen, let's call in Senator Bain and why don't we call the president? Because we're changing history here. Verifying weather anomalies and low pressure altitudes, winds at 129 and climbing. Why didn't you see that? It just happened. Whoa, what's that? Circular fluid motion of clouds, pressure's dropping 13 psi. Increasing wind at 175. Shit, a cyclone is forming in the Gulf. How big? At five, big. You know, find out if there are any vessels in the area and get Noah on the phone right now. We should think about shutting down the reactor. <laughs> the reactor didn't cause this. That mapping caused this. What's that supposed to mean? It means that F5s don't just magically appear, okay? And they're not conjured by what we did. Look, it, it, it was poor planning on your part because of the weather, but we can still do this. Okay, this reactor was built to withstand anything. Anything. Nathan was right. We pushed the reactor too hard, and you know it. We're not shutting it down.
you mess with Mother Nature. Reporting swells of 70 feet. The wind's approaching 200 miles an hour. What population centers are within a 400 mile radius? Galveston. What? That's the direct path of the storm. Pressure readings high and low that are off the charts. We can't shut this down. What is our footprint? A thousand square miles and growing. How long before it hits land? Days? Hours? Minutes. I'm shutting this down. You don't know that's the problem. No, my chart says that we ripped a hole in the ozone. That rip keeps on going. It won't stop until we stop. Ox, shut it down. You touch that machine, and you won't get a job at Best Buy. Shut it down! Oxford 57-642, beginning initial shutdown sequence of four. On my mark. Four, three, two, one, mark. game's dead. In the house. I'll call my sister in Denver and see what the weather's like there. I'm gonna check the news. Good idea. 
bed, the TV won't come on. Never seen anything like that before. All those people. Lights either, and the electricity must be out. I'm gonna make some sandwiches. I'll fire up the generator. Probably some of them. I can't eat this, it's stale. <laughs> the electricity has not been out that long. Don't be ungrateful. Come on, you have to go now. What? Come on! Come on! <laughs> Why? Just back whatever you can, as quick as you can. Let's go! We need shelter. Are you kidding me? Get what
Dad, Dad, what was that? Can we go home now? Go home? Did you not see the, the trees and, and, and the cars coming at us? I mean, we're gonna be safe here. That was a pretty sick drive, Dad. I don't ever want to do that again. Dad, Dad what is that? We're not going to be safe in this building. Uh. Severe storms found in the southwest of the United States. The government has issued a state of emergency in the following states. New Mexico, Texas, and Arizona. Evacuate low-land towns and cities as soon as possible and head for higher ground. Floods continue to ravish the south as millions of people are still without power. An estimated 2,300 homes have been destroyed as the storm continues to spread. No. Why didn't he know about this? He's supposed to know about all that science crap. The weather. It's unpredictable. It's not good enough. You're, how's your father supposed to know, honey? It doesn't even matter anymore. Everyone's gone. My friends, my teachers, my coach. Everyone. Johnny, quiet. No, I'm not gonna shut up anymore. I hear it too. You hear what? Get in the car, slowly. Okay. All right, a little faster. Come on. Go, 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 go. It's gonna get dark soon. Looks like we're here for the night. Yeah. <sighs> 
<clears throat> what are you working on? The pressure was too low. Antibiotic cooling must have been too great. This could get worse. Much worse. What, like more tornadoes? We should probably find higher ground. Um, we could leave the state or, or go north. Guadalupe Mountains, good idea. I can't believe you only brought maps. No documents or pictures. And an emergency kit. See what you brought. Oh, no. Oh. Little bars? Almonds? Kale chips? At least we're not going to be eating maps. I was just grabbing things. That's enough. Okay, let's go. accelerator isn't slowing down. This, the storm system has it caught somehow in some kind of feedback loop. We can't shut it off. We need to evacuate. No, no, we're not jumping ship. Lewis. We can't run away from this. Right, once the core melts, it's over. There's no way to hide. We won't survive the nuclear winter. We have 32 hours before the reactor. 32 hours? No, no. The Apollo was designed to, to feed off the Earth's energy, all right? Uh, magnetism, natural friction, tectonic stresses, the heat from the Earth's core, and... Storms. The storm's intensity is causing a, a feedback loop. The stronger the storms become, the stronger the, the Apollo becomes. The stronger the Apollo becomes, the stronger the storms. Both of them are acting as a cause and effect. It's, now it's like a, a saw blade spinning faster and faster. You can't just grab it with both hands and hope that, uh, hope that you can squeeze it and stop it. We have to find a way to, to neutralize both of the causes so that we can stop both of the effects. No, 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 no. I got just 16 hours. At this rate, these readings are useless. If that happens again, the core could go I critical I understand that, Ox. We need to evacuate, try to get off the continent while there's still time. Timer. Nathan, thank God I got in touch with you. Have you escaped the storms? Yeah, Mona, Johnny, and I are headed up to Guadalupe Mountains right now. Nathan, we have a complete core meltdown and we can't shut down the reactor. What? Slow down. We're experiencing some weather phenomenon. It's, it's the Apollo mission. Simon, what are you talking about? Nathan, we are controlling the weather. It's impossible. I'm not going to argue the validity of this, all right? I need to ask you some questions. What? The basic fundamentals of the flare through model are adjusting and self-regulating. Simon, I'm losing you. Get your family to save me. Damn it, Simon, what did you do to my formula? Try to give me the, uh, the location on that signal. Yes, What's wrong? I've isolated it. Okay, good. Let me know the moment it comes through. Yes, sir. Once we reach the top of the mountain, there isn't a hurricane or a tornado in all of nature that can reach high enough to touch us. 
You know, he'd know this if he paid attention in science class. Oh, give me a break. Mr. Latham hated me. I'm sure he didn't hate you, honey. And you weren't there. He had it out for me. I wonder if he made it. Simon. Nathan. Thank God I got in touch with you. I need you to get to the Apollo station right now. Are you crazy? Look, I've been over the calculations a hundred times, all right? I, I, I'm missing something, okay? And if we don't get the core cooled, the whole damn thing is gonna melt down. What, what are you talking about? Simon, what'd you do? I used the Nihil algorithm. What? I don't have time to justify things right now. You were right, I was wrong. Let's just leave it at that. But I need you to get here now. Leave it at that. Simon, do you have any idea what you've done?
on it. If, if the core melts, the Fujiwara effect would kick in. Fujiwara effect? Fujiwara effect. It's when two hurricanes or tornadoes get close enough to each other to attract and form one large hurricane or tornado. But if, if the core melts, the conditions would be perfect for dozens of hurricanes to spring up across the face of North America. And, and they merged. They would create a vortex of size in Texas. The winds of excess of 500 miles an hour. It's called the Hypercane. that model inside and out. I just have to find a way to contact the, the power station and, and, and I can talk to Simon. We can figure this one out. I know what to do with me. It's gonna be fine. You gotta get above these storms. You two will be safe here. I need you to stay with Johnny. <laughs> I, I knew it. No, I'm going into the city. It's a, it's a 30 minute drive, so I won't be going long. How can you talk about leaving us? No, I gotta talk to Simon, right? I, I think I can help him fix this. If, if I don't try, I don't know what will happen. Just call him. Just call him. There's no signal, all right? I remember there's an airlift station a few miles back. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Watch your mother. Where are you going, Dad? I'll be right back. Mom, where's Dad going? Come on. Let's take shelter in the ranger station until he gets back. Johnny! Accelerators reach maximum capacity. Roger that. How do we lose the signal again? We're reconfiguring the uh, satellite communication to compensate for the storm interference, but the rising levels of radiation may mean we cannot reestablish the connection. We have to destroy the Apollo station. That's your plan? That's what you got for me? It's the only way to stop the core before it goes critical. What are you gonna do? You gonna call in an airstrike? No, oh, I'm gonna redirect the beam directly below us, okay? Causing the ocean to swallow us up. You know, I'd say that's the craziest thing I've ever heard if it wasn't the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's impossible to redirect the beam, okay? Impossible! Not if I reconfigure the reflector dish by bypassing the safety systems. Also impossible! We better hope it's not.
There should be rangers here, right? Yeah, they probably went home to be with their families. Station. As soon as we finish refueling. Uh, what about this equipment? Can I, I make a phone call to them? Negative. Or? All communication, including new satellite uplinks, are down. We got men working on the cell towers now. Oh my God. It's here. This, this is the center of it all. That's right. These storm batteries, they're all, all centralized. It's like they're springing up around some invisible form, like some kind of magnet. Of course. Look. Wait. Hey, if we can get Apollo Station to, to redirect its beam to these coordinates, we might be able to end all of this. Explain. It's the heart of the storm system. We need to pierce it with a beam. You want to shine a light up into the sky. whoop de doo By concentrating the beam at the center of the storm, where the, where the pressure's at its greatest, the two forces will neutralize each other. Fight and fire with fire. Exactly. The problem is we don't have any way of getting these coordinates to the Apollo Station. Sir. Another major storm is beginning to form right on top of us. It should be here in about five minutes. Looks like your timing's a little off, soldier. We can't fly in this. We've got to get you those cell phone towers. Let's move it out!
back together. Yeah, I wonder what it's like back down on the base. You must be Sims. Where's Captain Wright? Before we can make any calls, you boys are gonna have to climb that tower, attach and configure a transceiver to the top. I'd do it myself, but I gotta stay here and get the generators going. When you get to the top, call me and I'll tell you how to configure the transceiver. Roger that. Paul will fix this when they have the coordinates. Here's the storm of his beam and it'll all be over. Oh my god. It's the park, it's on fire, my family's there. Go, go, I can do this by myself, I can contact Apollo. If you have any problems, call me. You got it, go, go. You said the safest place was gonna be on top of a mountain, and we're on top of a mountain. No, I, there's a fire, right? It's coming. You gotta get out of here. Hey! Hey! Get that car! Oh! Oh! Oh, come on! What now? Wait, wait, wait. I have a plan. We have to go back inside. You guys get the phones, I'll get the radio. Lines are dead. Uh, Dad, there's a helicopter. Guys, we gotta go now. Yeah, I know, I know. Dad, there's a helicopter. I know, I'm looking for the keys. Uh, Dad? Let's go. I know where it is, too.
in 24 hours, it will be uninhabitable, and we did this. I did this. Simon, we've done all we can. It's time to go. Where? Where are we gonna go? Hey. Hey. Hey, where the hell are you going? Come on, hey, where the hell are you going? They're going to die with their families, is my guess. What about you? these coordinates to the targeting system. Okay, son.
job, guy. The core temperature's almost back to zero. You tell that lovely son of a bitch Nathan and I owe him one. Simon did it. He did it. <laughs> yes. It's fixed, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut down the beam. Roger that. Whew. Simon, Gage. It's not shutting down. And worse, the core is melting at an accelerated rate. This doesn't make any sense. Why isn't this working? Verify that we have the correct coordinates. Pull up the satellite feed. We still can't get accurate satellite imagery. Too much atmospheric interference. So in other words, we're still flying blind. Yeah, but we are getting the reading of a massive storm. It's an F-10. The hyperkin. Leveling out. Simon, pull it back! The PSI readings are off the chart! Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! Simon, Simon, you're going too fast. Back off. I think I got something.
fixed it, we're okay. So can you fix it? The signal was delayed. What signal? At the military base, the, uh, the National Guard. They said uh, the storm would be there in five minutes, but it was less than even five seconds. I'm not following, Dad. It's the same reason our cell phones aren't working. <laughs> so what you're saying is the storm is affecting our communication, and that's why they can't find the eye of the storm. Exactly. Come on. Tudor! Oh, welcome back. I gotta ask you another favor. I love them from the east. Do you have a, a GPS tracker I can use to send a signal to power station? Yes. But if you're trying to pinpoint your location for Apollo, you're gonna need three of them. To triangulate your signal. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what for? So Apollo Station will know exactly where I am. Yeah, and why would they need to know that? Once they verify the eye, they can stop the storm. Nathan. I mean, it's my responsibility. I get to the center of the hypercane, I send the signal out, Apollo Station can lock onto that signal, they can send the beam directly there. They won't miss this time. And how do you plan on getting that close? If it's gonna tear you to pieces. I'm gonna go under it. Uh. All right, look. If you're gonna go under it, you're gonna to need to have one person right here at these exact coordinates, and somebody else right here at those exact coordinates, both as high up as possible. Yeah. And that means you two. Don't, no, 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 that's my family, all right? You're gonna to have to help me, all right? You're military. No, no, I need to stay at my post. Nathan, it's the only way. We're in this together. Whatever you're gonna do, you need to do it now. Look, if their signal is off on their location, then that's the end of you. Uh, what, what did he just say? Let's go. Dad, what did he just say? so you know where I'm at at all times. Dad, are you sure about this? No. Come back to us. Johnny. I know. Mom. You too. Further word from Nathan? Plan? Just, just keep monitoring for a signal, all right? Pray that he's still alive and can call with the right coordinates. Copy that.
is not the center.
Simon? Nathan! Nathan, it's Gage! Simon's dead! What? The core's not shutting down. We're too late. What is it? What's wrong? It needs to be shutting down. It's too late! The core's gone critical. We're in complete meltdown! Gage, we've got to take the helicopter. Take our chances. Where the hell do you think you're going to fly? I don't know. Look, no, no, shut up. Listen, you know the radiation contamination is going to saturate every corner of the planet. Nothing, not even cockroaches, will survive. Yeah, listen. Gage, there's only one thing left to do. I need you to turn the beam back on. Fire it I need you to aim the beam directly underneath the station, full intensity, full power. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll try. Then I need you to get the hell out of there. That I can think. Gage! Devils in your head. 
See you.